get dirty thoughts about you They get worse when I'm without you Does that mean that I'm going <laughs> hey wonderful people welcome right back to my channel if you're new you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber how are you doing yeah in today's video we'll be talking about affordable sunblock sunscreen spf uvs whichever one you know and um, somebody actually um somebody actually asked me to make list of spf affordable spf i don't know if it's the one for face or skin but i'm targeting face so it's something you'll be interested in watching sit back don't worry because we'll be starting in few seconds yeah i love it a lot when people watch my video and they may fit to leave um comments or suggestions that way like i it will help me know what you guys want to say i don't just sit down in my house and start filming things based on what i want to film okay i want to film things that comes from your heart you my subscribers right so yeah in case you've not watched my affordable week or my affordable week collection i'll leave the link here so that you guys <coughs> can just um check them out for thyself <laughs> right now um you guys i think the very first one i'll be mentioning is the one i actually have with me here okay but there are other ones that are even better than this one the fact that i'm using this one doesn't make it the best it was the one that i, I could afford at a time and then that was it so it's not like it's no good but so it's not like there are no ones that are better than this there are so i'm going to be talking as we progress this but first off let me start with the one i actually have at hand right now which is from dazia you guys can actually see um yeah this one is from dazia and is um sunblock for sensitive skin that that is one of the reason why i picked this one because it's for sensitive skin and i have sensitive skin especially for products that i've never tried on my skin so whenever i'm trying out product the first time on my skin i go for the one meant for my skin type which is sensitive skin right so that was why i picked this one and it's i'm um, for anti-aging and has sun milk like it has milk in it and it's very very good spf like it see i am actually this is what i'm actually using on my face i actually applied it even before i started filming this video and you guys believe you me it's very very good it doesn't leave any kind of like because i've heard a lot of news about sun screen leaving like white patches on your face this one does not leave anything like that when i use it kind of moisturizes my face you guys can just see for yourself that my face is highly moisturized okay so i used it like the truth is sometimes i forget because i don't get to use creams on my face when i'm leaving the house in the morning so which is why some most times i tend to forget but today i actually used the cream on my face so that was why i used this and you guys it's from like i said it's from dasia and this was sold for is it two five or two thousand previously it was supposed to be two and um, one five but because of the rate in dollar it is now for sold for two thousand and above okay so it's quite very much affordable so another one i'll be listing out or the one i'll be recommending is skin doctor skin doctor sunblock is actually very nice but it's more expensive than this i think you can get that one for three thousand three five but at least it's still pocket friendly compared to others there are so many sunblocks out there that are very expensive but then they do the job and they are still affordable sunscreen that still does the job amazingly depending on your skin type so if you're going for any sunblock check if if your sensitive skin check if it's for sensitive skin dry skin normal skin or all skin type there are some blocks for all skin type okay so just check they will write it there like this one the under this um sun it's written sensitive so go through any product you're buying thoroughly to make sure that you're going for the one meant for you okay so it's also very nice it's skin um this one is their face um cream it has spf 60 prevent sunburn and protect the skin from damage caused by the sun um uv rays do you get so is a whitening sun protection cream this one is their face cream like i said we're going to be focus on focusing on this 
particular tool which is this one and the one that is going to show up next on your screen this one is specifically for face and is like it's very very active it provides active whitening care so it can help in protecting you from sun damage as well as clearing of your dark spot on the face and also taking care of any um sun bone that is already there do you get so you can just what that means is that you can just use this one as a face cream and you've got absolutely nothing to worry about when it comes to trying to erase sunburn as well as trying to protect your skin so it serves as a two major like source for you to help prevent sunburn or trying to clear your sunburn do you get then this one is spf 80 is for um, face and body so if you just have money and you want to go for any sunscreen from skin doctor you can as well just try this one instead of buying facial on separately from the skin okay um you guys i'm going to be telling you how to use a sunscreen because the way we use our sunscreen is not the same way we use our body lotion so um like this one is absolutely very nice as well and it's not even greasy like like, yeah that is how good it is it's a dna protection and has like hyaluronic acid of course you guys i'm sure you know the importance of hyaluronic acid on the skin like it helps in dealing with any like hyperpigmentation or already have dark spots so that is the essence of hyaluronic acid so if you you have acne pr prone skin just try out this particular one and you guys you're going to love it it also moisturizes the skin you guys there are sunscreen that also treats sunburns they also treat um black spot this one i have to be honest it does not treat black spot i don't know if maybe it's because i've not used it for a long period of time but i've had this for about a month plus right now so i should be able to know how it works right so if i'm out of this there are other two that i'll be trying out either of them i'll just choose one of it number three i'll be mentioning or the number three on my list will be um gavia gavia sunblock is also a whitening cream with spf 60 just on the face although even if you want to use it on your skin you have no issue but then this one is mainly for face i've not seen anybody that uses it on the skin unless of course they're using it and they are not saying but then this one is particularly for face and like i said it has spf 60 is a dual active cream which works as sunblock and also whitening cream it is an oil free sunscreen like that will help to um, lighten up dark spot as well and clear off sunburn if you already have so if you ask me i would really like gavia is one of the sunblock that is highly highly trending and is really doing the job right now you guys of course people are actually using this one and you guys is not doing badly on their skin because of tons and tons of review about this particular gavia okay if you use this one you don't need to worry about having like um a facial cream but then you still need a facial cream anyways because um after your facial cream you cannot go in with this one your facial cream should serve as a foundation then your sunscreen okay yeah so this particular one is very good gavia is very very good gavia sunblock and um, one good thing about sunblocks is that you can use it even at the comfort of your own home like whether or not you're going out you can as well just use it especially for those of those of us that does not have air conditioners in our houses so just be sure to always always try out your sunblocks and believe you me you're going to thank me later gavia sunblock is a very very good plus and like it also brightens the skin as well so yeah there are some like i said there are some blocks that also brightens the skin right so be sure to just buy the one that you know that because there are people who do not have separate face cream from their sun blocks that's their facial creams that also serves as sun blocks and as well if you use it under the sun you don't have anything to worry about but then it still brightens and clear your face that is that for number three then the number four i'll be mentioning is um yc yc sunblock is also very very good and it also clears hyperpigmentation if you already have like even the um 
dark spot and everything on your face is going to help erase it as well so what you want to do is try to always use your sunscreen especially when you have hyperpigmentation or dark spot discoloration this one is one of i mean the one that has the highest amount of spf so if you use this one especially those living in the north you are very very safe okay and very affordable since we are all about sunscreen or some blocks that are very affordable these are the ones i could list out there are numerous ones out there but the ones i am very convinced and sure of are the ones i'm listing out the fact that i'm using the one that i'm using does not make it the best so don't think if you don't get the one that i'm using you did not get the right one you guys if you ask me i won't even choose um the one that i'm using in all these ones i'm mentioning like i think the one i'm using is even the least of them all you guys these ones they are very good so if you live in an area where you can actually get any of them you 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 are just like on the right track so you want to make sure to also check that one out yeah even if you're not going out you can as well just use that one as your facial cream and you are good to go yeah so the next one on our list will be attitude this particular one you guys are saying kids can use it adults can use it and they are very safe the only thing is that it's just um the spf in it is i mean the amount of spf is very low it's spf 30 but you guys it's very good it's a mineral sunscreen and unscented so um especially for those with sensitive skin this one is very good for you so you guys the way you use sunblock is not the way you use your cream like let me just tell you guys so that you don't go and do like this and apply all over your face that is not how to use sunblock using sunblock you have to pour it at the tip of your finger then dot it all over your face and gradually sink it in into your face you don't go around rubbing it like that just rub it in a circular motion rub it rub the sunblock or sunscreen on the areas where you feel needs attention do you get what i mean you don't go like for example that you used to pour your cream here and just rub it all over your hands before applying it on your face with sunblock it's not like that please yeah that is that for that so yc sunblock is very very good just give that a try and you guys you I, i'm sure you're going to really love it another one on our list would be neutrogena i know some people will be like nita what's going on what's up with neutrogena why didn't you talk about it and everything you guys were focusing on affordable um sunscreen this is why um this one is coming i think last if not the second to the last it's not like it's not good this one is the other part, part of them all that does not mean that others that that more affordable ones that works better than this one but then neutrogena is good it has um like um it's a water gel lotion sunscreen and it has spf 50 like it's really really visible like the finishing is visible and non-greasy you in fact you can never get it wrong with neutrogena when it comes to neutrogena we don't talk too much about it because um the product speak for itself though it does not work for everybody let's say the truth it doesn't it's not like it works for everybody out there but then neutrogena is a very good one that if you ask me if you have the money why not go for it so the last on our list would be this um two in one spf 30 sunscreen and bong uh, repellent something like that is bone free and bite free and you guys this particular one is um i don't know how to call it but you know those um creams that you use on your skin and you don't get scared of getting bitten by either mosquitoes insects ants and everything like that this one is that particular one you guys so if you use this one especially those people living in it um, living in an area where it's always flooded and where you have like all these uh, mosquitoes and everything or insects flying around with this one it does not like it helps cover you from all those insect bites you guys you try to get what i mean but the only thing is that the spf in it it's low but then it's very very good 
like it does not cause any harm to your skin so don't be scared like you know sometimes you go out of the sun and some insects will be biting you you don't even know where they are coming from all those tiny tiny insects so like it's um practically save you from jams like all those little insects that brings i'm talking too much it's good just try it out so yeah this will be it for this video i hope i've been able to answer your question the reason why i am treating this particular question or treating this particular topic is because um you are actually a new subscriber and if you've watched this video please do well to leave your comment down in the comment section telling me how this video is helpful or tell me if you are happy that i actually answered your question because i told you guys that yeah what i do is when you watch my videos you leave me your video suggestions believe you me if it's a question about skincare i'm going to make a recap about it and then if it's something that i need to make a separate video about because i noticed i have not done something like that and i'm seriously sorry and i always talk about sunscreen sunblocks maybe that's the reason why i have not really dedicated a video to sunscreen so i hope this helps in a way i'll definitely see you guys in my next one i'm just in a hurry to go out my designer messed up my dress i'm just trying to believe that it is not my dress that i saw outside her mannequin okay so just let me go and check her out i know you guys will be like snitta what is it you guys i'll tell you that story in another video so be sure to like share and subscribe to this channel if you've not already and i'll definitely see you guys in my next one